Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. We got some exciting content coming out of this video. First day of planning 2021. Here we go, guys. There's the planter behind us. We're gonna plant some soybeans. We're gonna plant some soybeans into some standing, living, growing green cover crop. We're heading now to a field up in Illinois, about a 112 acre field, and uh, we're gonna start planting soybeans for the first time this year. We actually are gonna have two rigs rolling today. I'm gonna be in the planter uh, planting some soybeans, then Andy is gonna be in the drill, and we're actually gonna drill some soybeans. We've got about three nice days worth of weather here to where we can hopefully slam quite a bit of soybeans in the ground, get ahead of this rain a little bit, and get some beans in the ground in April. We hardly had any beans in May last year and zero the year before. So it's time to get some crops in the ground. So let's get up to the field here. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Well, after a few hiccups here, uh, we are rolling again. Seems to be that's how it always goes when we fire up for the first time. Uh, first problem I had was the uh, CCS blower that blows the seed from the tanks to the meters. It was not working. So we got it working. Then I plugged a tube coming out of the CCS. Got it unplugged, got it working. And then as we're going to fill the planter, ran out of gas on the tender. So it's just been one of those afternoons, but by golly, we got her rolling now. We've got her rolling now. Just laying off some in rows here. Just about got the field opened up. And we'll start going back and forth. Got about 20, just about 25 acres done out of this, call it 115 here. It's more like a 112, but we got about 25 acres done. That's just in the in rows. So we're going to get this field opened up and we're going to start going back and forth. Now the cover crop here is not that great. The rye is thin and it's short, which is weird because this was some of the first rye we put out last year here in this field. But, I mean, you can see it. Usually when we're planting, you can't row it because it's all closed up, but you can row this stuff just fine. There's a few dandelions out here, which is never good. And then there is a boatload of chicory. So this field got frosted with chicory about three or four years ago. And we've been fighting it ever since. You know, not being able to use chemicals has made it pretty hard because that chicory is a perennial. So it just keeps coming back and back. But we're making do. Planting soybeans, April 25th. We're getting her done. So we've only got about probably close to 1500 acres of beans to do this year. Uh, so we're going to do something a little different than we've done in the past. 
So this year, we usually plant our beans on 20s, which is pretty common, because that's what we got is 20 inch planters. Uh, but this year, we're actually going to go ahead and plant on 10 inch spacings. So we're going to plant a lot of these fields twice. We don't have very many acres to cover with the planters. Uh, we also have the drill running on 10 inch spacing. So the drills are going to do a majority of it on 10 inch spacing. But we're going to come through with the planters and we're going to plant these fields twice. We've got two planters and we can get across it no problem. So we're going to plant them twice and put these beans on 10 inch spacings. Now the reason we're going to do this is because as you can tell from the field, the rye hasn't grown the greatest. And we want to be able to close that canopy as quick as we can to hopefully hold off some of this weed pressure because of the lack of the cereal rye. The lack of the biomass that's going to be out here. The only thing really that's holding back the weeds right now, honestly, is the map from last year and then all the chaff that we spread out with the combine. So that is what's holding the weeds back right now. So that's kind of our plan this year. We're going to try to put all our beans on 10 inch spacings and even we might do some of the corn on 10 inch spacings. So we're going to play a little bit around this year, put all our beans on 10 inch, see how we like it, see how they grow. So with the planter, we'll just plant, set an AB, plant, do the whole field, come back, uh, ship that line 10 inches, plant the field again. So we're going to plant her twice. We can cover like 40 acres an hour with this planter, so we're still getting a lot done. It's not too bad, but we want to try it, try to hold out these weeds as much as possible. There's dandelions coming in some fields, so not huge in soybeans, but dandelions can really choke out a corn crop. Don't really want that to happen, but the next few days we're focusing heavily on soybeans and we're going to try to get all of our beans in in the next few days here before uh, a little bit of rain's coming. I don't know if you guys can say it, but we have got some dust flying. We have got some dust flying out here. Things are rolling right along here this afternoon. Just shy of 80 acres done in this field. And we're getting after it. We are getting after it. Conditions are awesome. Everything's planting nice. Having a little bit of a problem with row 35. It is planting. It's just planting a little light. I'm asking it to drop, you know, 100,000 and it's dropping between 85 and 94. Not the end of the world, not too bad. Really, it's the only row I'm having any problems with at all. But I might change out the seed tube. See if that's what it is. See if the Wave Vision tube is what's reading, what is reading it wrong. Or I might try a couple other things. Just want to play with it a little bit. opened up again the second time and we are now on our uh, back and forth here got the AB line set used the old AB line snapped it over 10 inches and now we're splitting these rows so that's what we're doing now so as I'm looking back I can see where we made the last pass with the planter and we are splitting these rows or splitting them really nice actually a little better than I thought we would 
Now, if we were on some real hilly ground that's not pretty flat like this is, we would need the uh, auto steer to go on the back of the planter for the implement guidance. That would be handy. I think that would be handy anyways. We might invest. We might invest. Especially if this ends up working and we do it just a little bit more often. We might invest in that implement guidance. We already have the globe for it. Just need a wiring harness and obviously an unlock to be able to run it. But we're getting her done here. We're getting her done. We are 28.7 acres into this second pass. Second pass this second time around. Where we're splitting them, but we got her opened up. We're going back and forth now is the easy part. We just sit here, we get on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you're into. And we go. We get her done. Well, we're still getting after it here. It's dark now, as you can see. We've got to buy, just hit the 200 mark done for the day. So, still having a pretty decent day. We're not getting started until about 3 o'clock, maybe 2 o'clock. Still having a decent day here. I've only got about 20 acres left in this field. Then we're going to pack on up and head home. So, we're getting there been a pretty darn nice day for the first day of planting soybeans in 21 so tickled to death with the conditions They're, they've been really good seed slots closing really nice good seed to soil contact for that seed couldn't ask for anything better on this fine April afternoon slash evening I tell you it feels good to get some crops in in April this year the last two years have been late Late May, most of the crop planted in June. I mean, gosh, we're sitting we're sitting 40 days ahead of where we were last year. I mean, that in itself should be pretty big. Should be pretty big. So in this field, I don't know if I said earlier, but we're planting a one point, roughly, it's like a 1.8, 1.9 maturity soybean. So that's what's going in this field. We've shortened our maturities to be able to get the cash crop out and get the cover in in the fall be able to get some good growth out of it it's worked pretty good so far now is there a yield drag that comes with these you know 1.78920 beans probably there probably is is it a huge yield drag not really is it worth our time to get that cover crop out earlier absolutely so that's why we're doing it finishing up the last few point rows here and this is a done deal this is about to be a done deal. A few hundred more feet and uh, first field of plant 21 is whooped. It's awesome. All right, we're folded up. Got the hazards on, the whirly birds on. It's time to head back to the farm. So let's head back to the farm. We'll see you guys there. Well, I figured while we're here, may as well go ahead and go ahead and fill the planter full of fuel. And uh, I'm going to take a quick walk around the planter. See how things look here while we're waiting on it to fuel up. Well, it's like we lost a closing wheel. I 
the Yetter closing wheel. Well, it looks like we lost a couple of closing wheels Yetter sent us. How about that? Looks like the bearings are the bearings are still the bit blew apart. It's all gone. The wheel's gone. It's in the field somewhere. Now I'll have to go find that before the combine finds that. Lovely. Well guys, I'm going to wait for this tank to fill up here on this tractor. And that's going to be it for tonight. It's going to be it for this video. Planting season is here. This is the first day we're planting and we're planting soybeans. So I appreciate you guys watching the video, following along, and we'll see you on the next one.